listening to other stakeholders that are listening through different media platforms, your YouTube, uh, your Facebook, your legislature uh, portals. My name is Tabang. My surname is Musweza. I will be a program director for today. Uh, it's a greatest pleasure and privilege that as we celebrate and we remember the son of the soil, uh, the, the, former, um, the former speaker of Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature and the former minister in the presidency, uh, Mr. Jackson Tembu, it is a very greatest honor that as the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature has arranged this colloquium so that we remember his good deeds, we remember what he represented in Mpumalanga, what he represented in South Africa as a whole. Uh, today, on the 31st of March, 2021, it is the greatest pleasure that as, as we're going to have guest speakers that is going to talk about his life and times and how, as an honorable member, has contributed into service delivery in this beautiful province of Mpumalang. Uh, the, the program is not that long, and as a result, we are going to be able to, to be fed on activities uh, of what uh, uh, Mr. Jackson Tembu has been able to do for this province. Uh, these are my opening and say welcome to everybody. And uh, we know uh, that uh, you, are all, you are all excited as we are excited to be hosting this memorial lecture in honor of Mr. Jackson Tembu. I'm going to be calling upon uh, um, the acting, speaker, uh, acting secretary of Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature uh, oh, Mr. M. H. Shabangu, that will be introducing to us a very important family, uh, the family of uh, Mr. Jackson Tembu. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, please allow me to call uh, the acting secretary, Mr. Shabangu, to come and uh, make that introduction to the Tembu family. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Program Director, uh, Advocate Msweza, the Honorable Speaker of the Legislature, Honorable MC Masilela, the Deputy Speaker, Honorable JJ Skosana, the Honorable Chair of Chairs, Honorable N. Shope, Honorable MECs who have joined us, through various platforms. The honorable members who have also joined us, the management and the staff of the legislature, as well as the staff of the office of the honorable chief whip, uh, members of the media, members of the public who have joined us through social media platforms, as well as the MS teams, Ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. Good morning. Honorable Speaker, this morning I have the honor to introduce our esteemed guests who are part of this momentous occasion. Let me take this opportunity to extend our warm welcome to the Mtembu family, Bom Velase, who have joined us this morning. We are really thankful to you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to attend this historic event with us. It's indeed, Honorable Speaker, a historic event to all of us as the legislature or to us as the legislature. 
because we are here to honor and to celebrate the life of our father, Mr. Jackson Mtembo. May his soul rest in eternal peace. We celebrate the life of a man who epitomized human decency, the life of a stalwart, a freedom fighter, a revolutionary, a champion of the poor, and a champion of the workers, an activist, and a trade unionist. We celebrate the life of the son of the soil. Having said that, honorable speaker, let me take this opportunity to humbly introduce the members of the Mvelas family who have joined us this morning. Let me firstly introduce Umama Wetu, Umamu Mvelas, Umamu Tembu, um, Mrs. Tembim Tembu, the wife to the late uh, Mr. Jackson Mtembu. She has joined us this morning. Thank you very much, Mam Tembu, for joining us. It is indeed an honor. And thank you for allowing us to have this occasion this morning. We have also been joined by Umalume Ga, the late, um, Mr. Jackson Mtembu, um, Mr. Jordan Mtembu, Malume Siagwamugela, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We have also been joined by Usis Kabo Mtembu, the daughter to Ubabu Mtembu. Sis Kabo, we thank you so much for taking your time to come and be with us this morning. We thank you so much for that. So thank you very much to the Mvelasa family for coming through to celebrate with us this morning the life of this great giant. Thank you very much, Program Director. Thank you so much, uh, Acting Secretary to Mpumalanga Pro of the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature for welcoming everybody. Very important guests that uh, we are here because they exist, we are here because of them. And thank you so much for the family also of uh, uh, Mr. Mtembu. And thank you for the honorable speaker for giving us this opportunity to be able to host this memorial lecture and uh, together with all uh, the management. Thank you, thank you, uh, Acting uh, Secretary. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce a guest speaker uh, that will be talk about the lives and times of these activists, this giant uh, mm -hmm. that, that walked this earth and was able to change lives on people and was able uh, today, he deserves that we celebrate him because he was an example on how to, to be able to plant a certain seed in the community where he lives, where this seed as it grows like a tree everybody would be able to go to that tree and take any fruit that comes from that tree. It's a tree that has a lot of fruits that each one of us, today, as we celebrate him, we are saying he left a very beautiful tree that uh, anybody who wants to eat, anybody who wants to drink, would come to this tree. And with these words, I want to uh, introduce our guest speaker, the Honorable T.M. Makaringa, and Honorable T.M. Makaringa, Makaringa, can you please come? We're coming for the entire program. That's fine. I the introduction of the guest speaker. So let's introduce you. Yeah, but for now, we're coming on this fine. Okay. Uh, sorry for that. Thank you so much. I've just been um, informed that I'm go I'll have to ask the honorable speaker. Uh, to introduce um, 
to welcome everybody who is here. And, and as such, I'm going to ask the Honourable Speaker, Honourable Masilela, to, uh, to welcome everybody in our midst. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Program Director, the Deputy Speaker, the Chief Whip, MSCs who are present here, members of the Provincial Legislature, the Ntembo family, Acting Secretary, and the support staff. We greeted in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I am pleased to welcome you in the memorial lecture in honor of the late Mr. Jackson Ntimbo. The lecture came in a time whereby we close the Human Rights Month. As leaders, let's emulate what the giants stand for and continue to serve the people in a dignified manner. In those few words, you are warmly welcome. Thank you, Colin Thank you so much, Honorable. Thank you so much, Honorable Speaker, for those kind and nice words of welcoming us uh, to this collo uh, colloquium. Thank you, thank you so much. And now we're going to um invite Honorable T.M. Makaringe to come and introduce the guest speaker. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Program Director, uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Deputy Speaker, Honorable JJ Skosan, Honorable Chief Whip of the Majority Party. Let me not also forget our important guest for today, the family of Comrade Jackson Mtembe. Uh, all social media platform that is connected to our session. I greet you all. Uh, as legislature, uh, we have adopted as part of our organizational culture, also embedded in, its, in, in our annual performance plan, the colloquium by which to discuss and shed light on matters and events uh, that are pertinent to the livelihood of the institution. Uh, in this instance, the legislature has identified heartfelt need to commemorate the life of Mr. Jackson Mtembe, who was part of Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature, largely the government of Mpumalanga. So uh, because of that, allow me to say that uh, as legislature, we have identified one of our own that is going to speak on the life of Comrade Jackson team. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Comrade who serve in various structures of the movement, uh, Kosato, SACP and ANC. He has been a member of Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature since from long. And uh, he was given a mandate when we started with the sixth provincial legislature by the people of Mpumalanga. He is now the chief whip of majority party in this uh, Sixth legislature here at Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature. He has served in various uh, portfolio committees in legislature. Uh, let me introduce uh, Comrade Honorable 
Fana Vicente Mlombo to come and present uh, our memorial lecture uh, talking about the late of Comrade Jackson team. I thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Deputy Chief Whip, for the warm introduction and welcome to deliver this uh, memorial lecture. Let me take this opportunity to thank the program directors and all the staff and managers who have put their effort behind the success of this uh, colloquium. I can see the arrangement are up to standard. They are world-class arrangements. I want to thank each and everyone who have possibly positively contributed to the success of this colloquium. We all know that everyone that worked towards the success of this colloquium has done so because of the able and competent leadership of our honorable speaker of the provincial legislature, Ome Masilela, who is leading the provincial legislature with excellent and highest level of integrity and dedication. It is therefore correct for me to first recognize her and thank her for the welcome, warm welcome address that she has in fact rendered, that has given courage to ourselves as we are going to present this colloquium. I am correctly informed or liably informed that uh, the chairperson of the province, the acting chairperson of the province, Okomrit <clears throat> Mandla Ndrovu, is following these developments or this event. I take this opportunity to thank him and welcome him uh, to this uh, um, event or for this uh, colloquium. I have been reliably informed by the speakers before me that our Honorable Premier, who is living, leading this province with excellence, dedication, and commitment, is also following this event. We appreciate her presence, recognize her leadership, and honor her commitment to further the objectives of our national democratic revolution. We want to take this opportunity and respect the most important persons for which this event has been uh, convened, which is the family of Comrade Jackson Ntembu, the family of uh, Comrade Tumvelase, Umtagababa, as he was well known. I'm reliably informed that his dear wife has connected, is following the event, Ume Utembi Mtembu. I'm also informed that Umalume uh, Uankel, Uankel Ujordan Mtembu, has joined. We thank you, Uankel Njenga Bashana for providing leadership. I remember when I came at home, immediately after the passing on of Ukomitu Jackson, 
you were there, Angel. You were there, Madume, providing leadership not only to the family, but also to the millions and millions of people around the Emalashini who were in fact uh, flocking to the family house to pay their last respect. I remember how hard you struggled to make sure that the thousands and thousands of people who were flogging there, I made to respect the COVID-19 regulation. But it was difficult because you could not stop them from flooding there, descending there, to go and shed their last tears for this noble leader that had just passed on then. Siskabo, you are welcomed, Sisi, uh, to this uh, colloquium of uh, your father. Uh, we hope that uh, over the time, time has given you an opportunity to gain strength and courage. I also want to extend my appreciation to the members of the Executive Council of the Mpumalanga Legislature, because I'm told that they have, in their large numbers, joined and are following this uh, colloquium. The members of the parliament, the MPs, who have spent most of their lives and time working with the committee Jackson, I'm told that um, they have also joined. But let me also respect the presence of the deputy speaker, Ukomedu J.J. Kosana. I know he is very consistent in terms of these uh, <clears throat> events. I know his commitment and hard work, but also recognize the presence of the chair of chairs of the legislature, which is uh, Comrade Umpu Mishlope, Honorable Shlope, and also recognize the presence of uh, the deputy chair of chairs, Umama U Jeanette Tabete. Let us also recognize the presence and those who have connected my colleagues from the provincial legislature. I know that some of them, they have worked with Ukomet U Jackson when he was uh, still in the, in the province. To uh, greet all those who have connected, I'm reliably informed that millions and millions of the people of Mpumalanga, they have joined through the social media uh, through Facebook, uh, WhatsApp groups, and so on, they are all, in fact, uh, welcome. Let me take this opportunity to say my warm and sincere greetings to all of you, comrades and friends, ladies and gentlemen. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege for me to be offered an opportunity to pay tribute to Comrade Jackson Mtembu Umvelase Umfogababa. I think it is befitting for me to start this uh, Collegium by making a reflection on the journey that Ukomitu Jackson has traveled, which is a journey to freedom. And I will start this colloquium by quoting one of the words of the manifesto when it says, 
the time has come in the life of any nation when there remains only two choices, submit or fight. That time has now come to South Africa. We shall not submit and we have no choice but to hit back by all means in our power, in defense of our people, our future, and our freedom. Comrade Jackson is amongst the many cadres of our movement who chose not to submit to injustice against the people. He chose not to submit to the evil system of apartheid. He chose not to submit to colonialism and apartheid. He chose not to submit to the inhuman barbaric homeland system during the 1980s and the 1970s. He chose not to submit to Bantu education, despite the fact that the apartheid regime used everything and everything possible to ensure that uh, the Bantu education was forced through the throats of the black people and black children of this country. He resisted and refused to submit to Bantu education. He also chose not to submit to the exploitation of workers and the entire working class. Because those of us who were close to him, we have seen him lead, leading workers in Kosato at the high felt steel, refusing to let workers su submit to the neoliberal offensive by the imperialist, refusing to let, to let workers submit, submit to the exploitation of workers by the capitalists in pursuit of excessive profit. Comrade Jackson stood up and volunteered and raised his voice and said to Mamina to be a shop steward of the workers at the Highfield Steel and refused to submit to an imperialist neoliberal agenda. Comrade Jackson has been seen across the length and the breadth of the province, fighting struggle in defense of the freedom of the people, in defense of the birthright of the people of Mpumalanga. But he did not only do this in Mpumalanga, he went beyond the shores of this province and continued with this struggle to ensure that the apartheid government was rendered ungovernable and ultimately destroyed. We are happy, um, Malumega Jackson, we are happy, Sistembi, that Comet Jackson passed on after he has achieved his objective, after he was assured that the objective of ushering into a democratic country, the objective of ushering into a democratic country and coming up with a, a very progressive democratic constitution, the objective that uh, we have a South Africa where the rights of workers are prevented and defended, the objective of ensuring that uh, our children they have quality education, the objective of ensuring that our people have access to quality health care, the objective of ensuring that uh, the poor have access to housing, the objective that of ensuring that those who have got nothing have access to social security. Before he could pass on, he made sure that that first uh, climb on the, on the ladder of democracy and freedom was in fact achieved. And for that, he will be honored. 
and he will continue to be honored. Comrade Jackson is a perfect example of a true revolutionary. He is a perfect example of a visionary leader. He is a perfect of example of a, com a, of a communist, a committed leader of the people, of the workers, and the working class. Honorable Speaker, at all times, Comrade Jackson personified a revolutionary organic intellectual, a patriot par excellence, a, new, a unifier, an incorruptible force for change, and an upright leader. On that fateful day of the 24th of January 2021, the people of Akaville, Emalatini, indeed the birthright of Comrade Jackson Mtembu, <clears throat> hundreds of people around that place came out of their homes to line the streets of Akaville, braving the pouring rain in order to bid farewell to the larger than life leader of the African National Congress, whom they describe as a people's hero who lived amongst them until the end of his life. Like I have indicated before, they braved the impact of COVID-19. It was difficult. They made it difficult for the leadership to control them. Irrespective of the number of deaths then, irrespective of the fact that they knew that even Comrade Jackson succumbed to COVID-19, they chose to die than to miss that opportunity to line the streets and wave their, and wave their ANC flags in saying their last goodbye and sharing their last tears. They wave ANC flags and flowers to give a befitting farewell to a great man who lived the life of an ordinary people and a man they describe as the rock upon which their freedom was built. Yes, it is true that in each and every corner of South, Af of South Africa and in each and every corner of Mpumalanga in particular, they know that Comrade Jackson is amongst that, uh, um, uh, those leaders whom we can say without any shadow of doubt that they are the rock upon which our freedom was built. We remember the young, vibrant student activist, a trade union leader who fought for our liberation from tyranny. He was guided not by the ambition or expectation of reward, but by the desire to serve the people with humility. Today we are here to celebrate and give proper meaning on what Comrade Jackson Mtembu Umtaga Baba stood for, to what Comrade Jackson Mtembu's life represented to all of us. We shall always remember him as a committed member and leader of the African National Congress, who for so many years participated in the liberation struggle as a young activist. As a unionist, like I have indicated before, as a member and leader of the United Democratic Front, and indeed as an operative of the African National Congress underground. <coughs> I have listened attentively in the last memorial lecture which was held in this province, where Comrade Matthew Sposa was detailing the role that Comrade uh, Jackson Mtembu has played the underground in strengthening the ANC underground, how Jackson Mtembu will cross from South Africa to Swaziland, from South Africa to Mozambique, in order to join the combatants of Umkonto Wesizwe. Indeed, that day marked the end of the journey and an end of a chapter in our course of freedom when the nation came together in grief 
for the departure of a man who was affectionately known as Mvelase, a true humble servant of the people, a mind whose thought, whose thought have opened the doors of our liberty. It is unfortunate that we, today we say that mind has ceased to function. Comrade Mvelase spent his entire life in the liberation of the people and after freedom, he never saw an opportunity to pursue greed, but he continued to place the interest of the people of the, at the forefront of building a caring and corrupt free government. To many people, Comrade Jackson meant different things, which made him such a complete human being who touched the lives of people in different ways, making one of the greatest leaders of the ANC that the ANC has ever produced. To his family, he was a caring father, and that has been um, uh, proven by the unity and the working together of the family during the time of his uh, passing. It has been proven by the respect that the family tried uh, to sort of ensure that it takes place during his time of, first, of passing. Yes, we can attest that to his family, he was a lovely husband to his wife. He was a dependable leader for the African National Congress. He was a reliable and honest minister to President Cyril Ramaphosa. He was a man who was greatly respected and dearly loved by the people. He never wanted people to worship him, but he lived with the people in the township as one of their own. He shared all what he has with the people. He helped those children who couldn't afford to go to school. Today, we have people who went to colleges and universities due to Ukomretum Velas's contribution to their lives. He held as an MEC for public works, roads, and transport in the province of Mpumalanga to build this building, which we call today the government complex. And this building, since it was built so many years back, because he was at the forefront of leading this build, building this building, there has been no report, even a single media report, that talks about corruption that has happened during the building or the, the construction of this building. This is the type of leader Comrade Jackson was, and this is the type of leadership in the African National Congress, in government, in the provincial legislature and national assembly that Comrade Jackson wanted to implant to ensure that uh, we have that type of leadership. Comrade Jackson Mpigwam Tembu was in fact born on the 5th of June 1958 in what was then known as Whitbank, but today it is called Emalateni in a, a location called Akavi. He served as minister in the presidency of South Africa's government after being appointed by President Cyril Ramaphosa in 2019. Previously, Comrade Mtembu served as the MEC for transport in Bumalanga from 1997 to 1999. He's been a member of the African National Congress Executive Committee since 2007 and served as the ANC's chief whip in the National Assembly from 2016 to 2019. Today in this memorial lecture, we declare that Comrade Jackson Mtembu has not died because most leaders 
have indicated that a revolutionary does not die, but his spirit lives on. We say that Comrade Ntembu has not died because the ideas for which he sacrificed his life for can never die. The ideas of freedom can never die. The ideas of free working conditions can never die. The ideas of free education and free healthcare can never die. The ideas of taking care of the poor and improving the lives of the poor to be better can never die. The true values of the ANC, which he embodied for, the, for his entire life, shall in fact live forever. And those of us who remain behind, it becomes our responsibility, it becomes our political obligation to ensure that the true values of the African National Congress never and never die. Comrade Mvelase has not died because the ideas of freedom, the ideas of human dignity, and the creation of a non-racial, non-sexist, democratic, and prosperous South Africa will never perish. Those principles and ideas that governs our national democratic revolution, they will remain to be pursued by, the, by, by those of us who remain behind until we have achieved total liberation, until we have achieved total economic emancipation of our people, until we are sure that there is no longer the exploitation of one man by the other until we are ensured that there is no longer an exploitation of another person because of his racial standing, until we, and we are assured that women are not persecuted because of the fact that uh, they are women, until we are ensured that there is no sexual discrimination in this uh, country. Comrade Jackson stood and, live, and lived a true Hello. life and, of the true, and the true values, the values of humanity, values of integrity, values of hard work, values of honesty, values of unity, and dedicated his entire last moment of his life leading the country in the fight against COVID, the COVID-19 pandemic. Unfortunately, it is this pandemic for which he was championing and leading the flight, for which he was championing and decided to be a, a, a shop steward that took his dear life. As one of the greatest communicators the ANC has ever produced, Comrade Jackson was appointed twice as a spokesperson of the African National Congress one of which was during the presidency of Comrade Rodisasa Nelson Mandela. As an honest and hard-working leader of the people, he was appointed twice as the chief whip of the ANC, first in the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature from 1997 to 1998, and again a deputy chief whip from 2004 to 2008, and the National Chief Whip again in the National Assembly in 2017 to 2019. This is a clear demonstration, honorable members and people of Mpumalanga. This is a clear demonstration of how the ANC trusted the wisdom and integrity of Comrade Jackson M. Tembu. He was also the speaker of the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature for a very short period, from, 2000, from May 2009 to November 2009. As a minister in the presidency, Comrade Mvelase rose to the occasion to become one of the reliable face of communicating the country's war against COVID-19. Simplicity 
Under very daunting challenges, the country faced was one of his greatest strength. Indeed, we must, in honor of Comrade Mvelase, continue to communicate the message of hope to the people who have been devastated by COVID-19 pandemic. In celebrating his life, we must make sure that we continue to observe the prescribed regulations against COVID-19. Our province has a duty. Thank you very much. Our province has a duty to keep the legacy of Comrade Jackson alive. In the length and breadth of our country, he will be remembered as the greatest man who, who dearly cherished the ideas of freedom. We must honor his legacy and heritage by remaining critical public amenities, including heritage, by re or we, we must honor his legacy and heritage by renaming critical public amenities, including a cost construction, a consideration to name a municipality in his name. His name remains engraved in the hearts of the people of Mpumalanga and in fact, the country. In one of the memorial lectures, we have canvassed the idea that the leadership of Mpumalanga should in fact consider to establish the Jackson Mtembu Foundation in Mpumalanga so that that foundation can be able to continue to defend his legacy and be able to extend a, hand, a, 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 a helping hand to the poor, the needy, and the vulnerable um, in this province and in this country. And we so wish that uh, the leadership, the political leadership, will respond positively to one of this uh, proposal. Comrade Jackson, he never built a high security wall that separated him from his people. Mvelase was a man of the people with all the opportunities he had to stay in luxury suburbs of big towns like Pretoria and Gauteng, Comrade Jackson chose to live with the people in the township of Akaville until his death. Comrade Jackson never forsake his people. He lived with the people in the township until his last day. Here is a leader, ladies and gentlemen. Here is a leader, people of Mpumalanga. Here is a leader, people of South Africa. A leader of the African National Congress who was born and grew up in a very humble and treated people as the forest that would defend him during the, the prosecution he enjoyed during the apartheid days. Later, after freedom in 1998, Comrade Jackson mobilized the businesses to donate one million to, to rebuild a church hall, which was uh, petrol bombed by the security police during the times of apartheid in 1986. And uh, this hall was petrol bombed because Comrade Jackson and his friends and his comrades they used this church to do underground work and hold underground meetings of Umkonto Wesiswe. They used this church as their storage for whatever material they wanted to use in the liberation of people. So after freedom, after 1995, after post-1994, he saw it befitting to take the responsibility and uh, recruit money to can be able to rebuild that church in honor of the sacrifices the people of Akaville who were using that church they have made for the cause of freedom. Comet Jackson was loved and revered by his family he was loved and revered by his community. 
his colleagues in cabinet, his comrades in the African National Congress, his fellow members of, the, of parliament, and by his friends in the media, with whom he had a long-standing and cordial relationship. I want to be like Comet, like Jackson. Because I even saw when he was uh, in Pumalanga, when he was a chief whip, the tactical attitude that he used to interact with members of the media. He had an attitude of no fighting attitude, but an engaging attitude. We have seen it when he went nationally, that he decided to develop an attitude that would say, we are all together in this thing, and then we have to work together, whether you are from the media, whether you are from the opposition, whether you are from the governing party, we are in this thing together. He also loved and cherished, he was also loved and cherished by members of the opposition parties because he created a necessary platform as a chief whip to reach out to those opposed to his ideas. He won the hearts of many, not by arrogantly imposing his views to them, but through robust debates and through the engagement in the battle of ideological ideas. He was generous in spirit and had a charming personality. At a time, even under very tense moments in the ANC and in the country, Comrade Jackson remained to be cool and generous. We will miss that loud voice. We will miss that laugh, that long laughter that says Mtagababa. We will meet the charming voice and smile of Ukometum Velasa. We will miss his laughter. Indeed, he exemplified a love for humanity. Comrade Jackson was a principled man. He was a man of courage. In times of both calm and difficulty, Mvelas's views was never missed in all matters in the government and in the ANC. He stood in principle at all times, even when it meant he must express views that are contrary to those in power. And many of us have seen him do that. We have seen him do that inside the ANC and EC. We have seen him do that in the National Assembly. We have seen him do that in cabinet. That if he believed something is wrong, no matter how much that his action will compromise him, no matter whether his action will result in him losing his position in government, no matter whether his action has got the potential of resulting in him losing a position in the African National Congress, Comrade Jackson became a madman and led the forces against what he believed was wrong. Who of us can forget such a leader? Who of us can forget such a principled individual? Who amongst us can forget such a rare quality? Who of us can forget this exemplary quality of leadership? In the true words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., when he said, I quote, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy." Close quote. Comrade Jackson Mtembu was very clear 
that during the times of challenge and controversy in the African National Congress, during the times of challenge and controversy in government, Comrade Jackson decided to stood on the side of the truth. Comrade Jackson is, is a comrade who always stood on the side of honesty. He's a comrade who always stood on the side of principle. When Comrade Jackson believed that the movement was under siege, he fought and gave everything in his power to save the movement. When Comrade Jackson believed that the movement and the state was captured, he fought tirelessly without looking back to save the state from being captured. When Comrade Jackson believed that the state was corrupted and the movement was corrupted, he didn't mind to be the only voice amongst many. He stood up and fought to set the movement free. When Comrade Jackson believed that the state was corrupted, he fought to ensure that the state was corrupted, irrespective of who was involved, irrespective of the consequences that goes with the action that uh, he took. It is for that reason that uh, some of us are looking upon him and uh, we say quietly, I wish to be like Comrade Jackson. When he believed that the new dawn and the ANC renewal was possible, he commanded all of us to strive and support the realization of the new dawn. We have seen him crisscross the country. We have seen him crisscross Mpumalanga. We have seen entering hall and churches. We have seen in stadiums and conference rooms addressing thousands and thousands of people on the possibility of the new dawn and the correctness of the new dawn and the need for us to sacrifice our life for the achievement of a new dawn because he believed that it is better to die for an idea that would live than to live for an idea that will die. Comrade Jackson believed that the idea of corruption, the idea of state capture, the idea of stealing the resources of the people was an idea that would not resist, was an idea that would die. And therefore he chose to put his life on the fall for an idea that he believe it is an idea that will live. And that idea is an idea of honesty. It is an idea of integrity. It is an idea of openness. It is an idea of accountability. It is an idea of working for the betterment of the people. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Comrade Jackson was an honest man who never hesitated to speak up for what he believed to be right, no matter the cost. His life was full of meaning and accomplishment in the way that he dedicated himself to serve the people of our country and to serve the people of our province. 
Comrade Ntembu Mvelase Ntagababa, he is amongst the leaders in this province who first pioneered the ideas of unity. Comrade Mtembu understood that the unity of the African National Congress at all levels, it is the best honor that we can give the people of Mpumalanga and the people of this country. We therefore standing here on behalf of the leadership of this provincial legislature as mandated by the Honorable Speaker, want to say that the unity of the African National Congress at all levels, at regional, provincial, and national, is today the best honor that the people of Mpumalanga can give to Comrade Jackson Mtembo. It is the best honor that the people of South Africa can give to Comrade J Jackson Mtembo. It is the best honor that our PECs can give to Comrade Jackson Mtembo. It is the best honor that our NEC can give to Comrade Jackson Mtembo. Comrade Jackson Mtembo spent the, entire the entirety of his life striving for the unity of the African National Congress. He understood that it is only a united African National Congress that can truly be the most effective force for social change. I must repeat, Comrade Jackson understood that it is only a united African National Congress that can truly be the most effective force for social change. That the African National Congress has earned its status and its accolade as the leader of the National Democratic Revolution in the trenches of struggle against apartheid and colonialism because of its ability to unite the people of South Africa and beyond South Africa to the African continent. It is for that reason that the African National Congress is not merely called the South African National Congress. It is called the, the, the African National Congress because people across the continent of Africa are pinning their hopes in the unity and strength of the African National Congress. People around Africa from Kenya, from Zimbabwe, from Mozambique, from Ghana, from Zambia, from Morocco and, and wherever, they are looking upon the African National Congress as one of the oldest liberation movement that has completed more than a century to be leading the struggle for the economic emancipation of the people of Africa. Throughout history, the ANC has uh, demonstrated beyond any reasonable doubt that the ANC is a disciplined force of the left that is biased to the working class and the poor. The ANC has therefore a duty to unite Africa before it can dream of contributing towards the achievement of a better and just world. The ANC has a duty to unite the people of South Africa before it can dream of uniting the people of Africa. The ANC has got the duty to transform itself and unite itself before it can dream of transforming the people of South Africa and uniting the people of South Africa. But what was the understanding of Comrade Jackson in terms of this unity? What attributes informed this unity that Comrade Jackson dreamt of? What attributes informed this unity that Comrade Jackson spent his entire life struggling for? What attributes informed this unity that Comrade Jackson was striving to achieve? It is the unity 
whose objective is to unite this gigantic movement, which is now 108 years, which is called the African National Congress. That unity, if, if, if it were to achieve its, its objective, that unity, if it is to achieve its political obligation, it must first and foremost unite this movement. It is the unity whose objective should be, should be to unite the revolutionary alliance. The alliance that is made out of COSATO, of the SACP, and also SANCO. Comrade Blayton Zimande calls this alliance Umbeimbe, a unity. It is the unity whose objective is to serve the interest of the people of South Africa and the people of Mpumalanga. It is the unity whose objective should be to ensure that the alliance components work together to improve the lives of the people and ensure that uh, there is service delivery to our people. It is the unity that should ensure that after 25 years of democracy, each and every municipality, each and every township, each and every rural area, each and every village should proudly say that we have started and that we can confess that the gains of this democratic dispensation, we are able to enjoy it. This is the unity that Comrade Jackson wanted to achieve. And that we so believe that all of us who are preaching unity in the length and breadth of this country, and that all of us who are preaching unity in the length and breadth of this province, that all of us who are preaching unity in the length and breadth of this region and any other region, that unity is informed by the attributes that I'm talking about. It is the unity whose main political obligation will be to make the ANC regain the confidence of the people. It is the unity that will make the ANC to be an effective weapon in the hands of the people to transform their lives. But we must say that this unity that Comrade Jackson fought for is not the unity that would ensure that there is individual and self-enrichment at the expense of the people. It is not the unity that works like Istok Fair, Um Kholiswan, Nam Tang Kholisawena, Ksasa Uzo Kholisamin. It is not the unity for the strategically positioning of individual for government work, for government tenders, and preferential employment. It is a unity that should take into consideration that contestation for leadership position in the African National Congress is part of democracy. And it is a legitimate uh, thing that should happen uh, in the African National Congress and wherever. And what are the things that we can learn from Mukome to Jackson? What are the things that we can learn from Mukome to Jackson in terms of the conduct of a cadre? Comrade Jackson would have said, for the ANC to succeed as the most effective force of social change, it requires leadership with the highest moral standard like he did, like he championed. It requires a leadership that sets an example to society by displaying 
impeccable levels of integrity by displaying impeccable levels of revolutionary morality, by displaying impeccable levels of political awareness and consciousness. And these are the attributes that Comet Jackson practice every day and every minute of his life. We need leaders to put the interest of the people before their own individual interests. Leaders of the African National Congress should represent the best ethical behavior and should know that the people expect that they be judged by a higher standard of ethical behavior. That is why if Comet Jackson was alive today, he would have been the first to champion the idea and he would be the first to convince, to convince all of us that we should embrace and support unreservedly the ANC and EC decision that any of our members and okay. leaders who so are charged know, with criminal know, offenses, know, Louis, who are charged know, with corruption know, and know, other serious know, crimes, must step aside. The ANC has therefore a moral duty, like I have said, to transform itself in order to be able to transform the people of this country. It has a moral duty to unite itself in order to be able to unite society. It has a moral duty to unite the people of South Africa because, before it can think of uniting the African continent and the world. But Comrade Jackson have traveled across the world. Comrade Jackson have traveled with the president across Africa, trying to unite Africa and reposition Africa to be able to champion the African agenda. Comrade Mvelasa struggled and fought for a better world. He struggled and fought for a better Africa. He fought for an Africa that is independent, an Africa that is sovereign, an Africa that would ensure that our continent is a sovereign continent. He fought for an Africa whose natural resources would benefit the people of Africa. Indeed, he fought for a decolonized Africa, a free Africa. He fought an Afri an, for an Africa that is not used by other countries as a dumping ground, an Africa that is capable of producing finished products by benefiting its natural resources in Africa not taking raw material outside Africa, but benefiting the raw, the, raw the raw resources in Africa in order to contribute to the growth of our economy and create jobs in Africa. He fought for an Africa that President Samo Thomas Sankara of Burkina Faso died for. Burkina Faso a land of the, up, the, of the upright. He fought for an Africa that Amilcar Cabral struggled and died for. An Africa which has produced amongst us people like, uh, or leaders like uh, Uma Charlotte Matreke, whom we are this year celebrating her 100 years today. He fought an Africa that the African writer Ungungu Wationgo dreamt of in his book when he wrote this book, Decolonizing the Mind. And I would I want to encourage the millions who are listening to this memorial lecture to try to read this book 
because this book, it, it does not only decolonize the mind, but it liberates the mind for us to see how captured our continent is and how entrenched neoliberalism is in Africa and what damage the imperialist and neoliberalism is doing in Africa and how much of the natural resources that comes from Africa is exploited by America and Britain and how rich are America, Britain, France at the expense of Africa from the resources that we ourselves willingly, willingly export, willingly take out of, of the ground, willingly use our people to grow up, to go underground and risk their lives to take out the gold, to take out the diamond, to take out the platinum, to take out the coal. And when this gold, platinum, and diamond is on the top surface, it is ourselves who are willingly um, uh, providing transportation in terms of uh, the flights, in terms of uh, the ships, in terms of the trains, to transport these mineral resources um, outside our continent to go and enrich these uh, imperialist countries. Comrade Jackson fought uh, for an Africa that would fight against that. Comrade Jackson fought an Africa which Comrade Samora Machel of Mozambique struggled and died for. Comrade Jackson fought for an Africa, which Comrade Krisani of South Africa fought and died for. Comrade Jackson fought for an Africa with President Patrice Lumumba of the Democratic Republic of Congo struggled and perished and died for. That Africa, ladies and gentlemen, that Africa, Honorable Speaker, that Africa, Honorable Premier, that Africa, the acting chair of the province, Comrade Manda Ndlovu, that Africa, people of Mpumalanga, that Africa, my colleagues, it is possible. And all of us jointly, we owe it to Comet Jackson to stop lamenting, to put measures in place, to reverse all the wrongs that our former leaders and our previous leaders have committed in Africa, to say the generations of, of, of the 21st century the generations of Cyril Ramaphosa is the generation that will be able to reverse all the wrongs and is the generation that will be able to put us on the foothold to be able to achieve that Africa where the resources of Africa will be meant to benefit the people of Africa. As I conclude, program director, let me indicate to yourself, in particular to the family of Jackson Mtembu in Akaville, Emalatlin, but also to the family of Jackson Mtembu in the African National Congress but also to the family of Jackson Mtembu in the National Assembly and the provincial legislatures, but also the family of Jackson Mtembu in all the structures of the Revolutionary Alliance, that surely we have lost a great leader. 
We have lost a great human being and one of the best to have been produced by the Mpumalanga province. We are still reeling in disbelief for the passing of Comrade Umtembu Umvelase Umtagababa. But we draw comfort and solace from the words shared by Karl Marx on the occasion when he visited his father's grave in the 1980s, when he said the following words, I quote, if we have a position in life, and if we have chosen the position in life in which we can most of all work for mankind, no burden can bow us down because they are the sacrifices for the benefit of all. Then we shall experience no petty, limited, selfish joy because our happiness after we, die, we, die, we, are, we are dead will belong to millions. Our deeds will live on forever and quietly, but perpetually at work. And over our ashes will be shed the hot tears of noble people. Close quote. Let me reconfirm and confirm again that it is almost two or three months since Com Comrade Jackson passed on. But the people of Mpumalanga are still flocking to his grave to pay their last respect. They still can't believe that Comrade Jackson is no more. They wake up early in the morning and go to his grave to share the tears of noble people. We have seen in the social media that the social media is always a buzz with the pictures of Comrade Umvelase on a on daily basis because the people of this country and the people of Mpumalanga and the different families of Comet Jackson in the ANC, in the Alliance, in his home, and in Emalasheni in particular, are refusing to accept that Comrade Jackson is no more. They are using the social media platforms to share they are hot tears of noble people like Karl Marx have said. His name is always trending in all official platforms. We are not, as Mpumalanga, the first and the last one to convene this colloquium to honor Comrade Jackson. We know that the National Assembly have had a memorial lecture in his honor. We know that so many municipalities in the province will follow suit, and we know that uh, so many provinces in the country will follow suit. So let us all agree that when a tyrant dies, his rule ends. But when a Matia dies, his rule begins. Let us confirm, let us have solace in the fact that Comrade Mvelase Umtagababa, who Jackson Mtembu, was a Matia. And his rule has begun with, with his death and make a recommitment that all what he stood for, we will struggle to achieve. Probala Khachotso, rest in peace, Komit Jackson. Rest in eternal peace, my brother.
Rest in peace, Msebenzi, as you used to call me, wherever we meet. Msebenzi, rest in peace. Thank you. Chief Whip, thank you so much um, for those encouraging words. As you detailed the lives and time of Mr. Jackson Tembo, you also reminded us that he was a revolutionary and had a spirit of a revolutionary, and that spirit lives on. And as such, his spirit will live on. And as a Mattia, you've also reminded us that all his ideas will live on. And there's a commitment on your part to say you'll do exceedingly more of what he has done. And we write to thank you so much, uh, Chief Whip of the Majority Party and Pumalanga Provincial Legislature. And ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Speaker, uh, we are about to come to the end of our program. Um, we, we will be calling upon Mrs. Uh, Memela Kamete to do a vote of thanks, then we'll come and do closure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Program Director. Honorable Speaker, Mama Makusazana Masilela. Honorable Deputy Speaker, Baba JJ Skosana. Honorable Chief Whip, Baba Mlombo. Honorable Makaringe. Honorable members who are with us through the social media platforms, actually through the Microsoft Teams. Acting Secretary to the Legislature, Baba Hubert Shabangu, and your management team, and all colleagues present with us members of the media and members of the public joining us virtually, and most importantly, the family of the late minister in the presidency, a family Yagababa Jackson in Tembu, all honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, be greeted in honor of the undying spirit of Baba Jackson in Tembu. It is a privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion of this colloquium in the memory of Baba in Tembu as we celebrated the beautiful life of a visionary leader, honoring the life of such a great man who established himself as a communicator of note. It is also humbling to note that this occasion honors the human being who once led our very own institution with distinction as the speaker of the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature, no matter how short uh, that period was, as Ubabum Lombo indicated earlier. But then we want to say, Saying thank you is more than just good manners, but it's also a sign of good spirituality. On behalf of the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature, as in Itunyo Umama, Uma Kosaza Namasilela, Somlomo Ustrayamteto, we want to say thank you for your leadership. Um, we want to say thank you to all of you who have joined us on um, a special occasion. But firstly, I think it will be good to say Thank you to the Honorable Speaker, Mama Kosazana Masilela, for her leadership. We truly appreciate it because um, it is the first of its kind that we have a colloquium of this nature. And through her leadership, this is what the legislature has been able to produce today. And we say thank you to you for your leadership. Our speakers of the day, Honorable Makaringe, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for availing yourself and also for taking the role of introducing the guest speaker of the day as we honor uh, Ubaba Umtembu. Honorable Babu Mlombo, uh, the chief whip of the majority party in the Mbomalanga Provincial Legislature, thank you very much for your good words, for reminding us who Ubaba Umtembu is, uh, the one who committed himself in the fight for our freedoms. And thank you very much for the wise words that you've shared with us today. Um, the Mtembu family, 
We want to say, in fact, to go to Niti Bom Tembu, Mvelasi, Nisiwemvula, Kuteni. We thank you very much, family, for borrowing us one of your own. And you allowed him, Uguti Nati Simtate, and we claim, him, we claim him as one of ours. I am sure today you are happy as we are happy too in knowing Uguti is a Longana, Lila Tlegele, but his legacy and his spirit lives on and, he, and he, he remains entrenched in the great history books of this country. Siyabongaga kulu gnina bomdeni, gnina bandwana, gnina umama, wekaya, ganjalo na gomalume. We say thank you very much for Babu Mtimbo. Acting Secretary to the Legislature, Babu Shabangu, your team who organized and made preparations for this event, and your dedicated team of all officials, um, thank you very much for this beautiful event. I am sure we've learned a lot today. We all shall follow in the footsteps of Obabum Tembu, and we all shall remain principled and truthful in execution of our duties like Obabum Tembu, the Matthias Uskumbuzili, Ubaba Umlombo. Program Director, Advocate Tabang Musweta, thank you very much. All people who joined us through various media platforms, the members of the media, I've seen some, uh, they are following um, good social media. Thank you very much. And lastly, I want to say the root of all goodness lies in the soil of appreciation for greatness. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much with those kind words. Um, Mrs. Memela Kamete, thank you so much. And I hope you have, you have thanked everybody who's here. And, and most importantly, want to also thank God for giving us the opportunity to all gather and celebrate this giant. And I uh, want to thank the speaker also one more time for giving us that opportunity, including all staff and everybody who participated in this, in this program. With these words, um, our, uh, we say the meeting is adjourned, and thank you so much for everybody. Thank you.